Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22635.2776. This is yet another build for the version 23H2 on the beta channel. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Those things being said, let's begin the video. First of all, I have to remind you all that all the features that require this toggle to be turned on, get the latest updates as soon as they're available, will be features present in the Movement 5 update for Windows 11 23H2 that will be released maybe somewhere in February next year. So if you want to have all the latest features and preview certain features that will come in a later big update, you can turn on this toggle and of course check for updates. Regarding Windows Share and File Explorer and in Windows 11 in general, if you're signed in with a Microsoft Intri ID account. In addition to being able to share your Microsoft Teams work or school contacts, you can also now share directly to specific Microsoft Teams channels and group chat as well directly within the Windows Share window. Regarding Windows Ink, Microsoft is expanding the ability to use digital handwriting inking in some edit boxes for Windows Ink to more languages. So we're going to have that whole list in the article below in the video description, but basically Chinese, English from a lot of countries, French, German, Japanese, and so on. So this will also include more accurate recognition technology gestures to delete, select, join, and split words, and also gesture to insert a new line. Regarding the task manager, Microsoft improved the process grouping in the processes page for the task manager. I think that is pretty nice because processes, at least for me, sometimes were a little bit weirdly grouped. So I think this is a great new improvement for Microsoft regarding the task manager. So these were some improvements that are rolling out to users that have that toggle on. Now let's talk about a change that is being rolled out to everyone. So not those that have that toggle on specifically. Regarding settings, this update starts the rollout of account related notifications for Microsoft accounts on the settings homepage. A Microsoft account connects Windows to your Microsoft apps. The account backs up all your data and helps you manage your subscriptions. You can also add extra security steps to keep you from being locked out of your account. This feature displays notifications across the start menu and settings. You can manage settings notifications and settings, privacy and security, and then general. We also have a few fixes that are gradually being rolled out to better channel users with the toggle on, so keep that in mind. Regarding desktops, Microsoft fixed an issue that made the desktop tooltips and task view hard to read in contrast themes. They also fixed an issue where when dragging and dropping windows in task view to different desktops, it might unexpectedly place the window in the background of other windows. And regarding live captions, Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing live captions to sometimes show the same line of text twice. And basically, this is all there is to it to the latest beta channel build. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe subscribe the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Zimani from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.